what's up you guys superhero reactor here oh let me fix this up here yeah i'm having a little problem with this angle so i'm gonna do a reaction for the screw attack that's called dr strange versus dr, dr. fate so marvel versus dc wow two masters of the mystic art wait one is mystic art the other one is i, I don't know what kind of power he has dr fate but he, he has some kind of a cinema of a mystic art, but I have no idea. Let's do this in three, two, one. Here we go. Booyah! The art of magic is a perfect thing. Magic. Only those with the right knowledge, talent, and willpower can truly claim to be the most powerful wizards of all. Like Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme of Marvel Comics, and Doctor Fate, DC's Defender of Cosmic Order. He's weighing them, Boomstick! And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Strange wasn't just any brilliant neurosurgeon, he was the very best. Too bad he was also a brick who cared more about the money he made than the patients he worked with. I gotta see the animation. Patients bring recognition. Recognition brings money, and money keeps Wellhaven's doors open. Can't blame him though. When your entire family kicks the bucket one by one like Stevens did, it's kinda hard to get attached oh, to anybody sad. else. Also, money's just great. Strange's talent at the operating table earned him celebrations worldwide. His work became more expensive, and his bank accounts rose into the millions. And then... The accident happened, right? Don't text and drive, kids. Strange survived, but his hands got terrible nerve damage, making them useless for complex tasks like, oh, I don't know, surgery. Pretty inconvenient. To find a cure, Strange spent his entire fortune and traveled the globe until he found the Ancient One. He had heard of this man's befuddling mystic healing powers, and at this point, he was up for trying anything. But the old dude refused to cure him. Instead, he offered to teach Strange how to use magic himself and become a superhero. Who needs hands when you have magic? Through his training, Strange discovered many secrets of the universe, along with plenty of handy spells. He has learned so many charms, jinxes, enchantments, conjurations, hexes, and incantations that it would be impossible to list them all now, but he certainly has his favorites. Like the nearly unbreakable bands of Sidorak. Unless you're super strong like the Hulk or Thanos, no way you're snapping these chains. He can surround foes in everlasting fire with the flames of Valtine. Launch energy shots called the Bolts of Balthac. Of Morpheus <laughs> and shield himself using the seven rings of Ragador. Who the hell came up with these spell names? Whatever happened to plain old Abracadabra? Everybody loved that one. Other techniques of his include illusions, hypnotism, protective force fields, telekinesis, immortality, time manipulation, power stealing, teleportation, dimensional travel, transmutation, spell nullification, and he can turn himself into a ghost. Ooh. That's his astral form. A projection of Strange's soul separate from his body, which defies the laws of physics. Look, Wiz, he can go through walls and fly around. That's a ghost. To invoke these spells, <laughs> Strange audibly calls upon the powers of the Vashanti, three godly beings of enormous power. Oh, that one's a kitty. I summon four the shielding powers of the Vashanti. Strange's mentor was slain by a creepy hentai monster, and Strange was granted the title of Sorcerer Supreme, which is like a normal sorcerer with all the toppings. As Sorcerer Supreme, Strange was deemed the most powerful magic user and defender of the world. To better perform his duties, he carries numerous magical artifacts which assist him in battle. The Cloak of Levitation lets him fly without magic and has a mind of its own, like Aladdin's magic carpet, but way more stylish. The Wand of Watum amplifies his powers, and the Axe of Angaroo must whatever cut through mystical beings. Fun fact, Strange found that axe in my ex-wife's old witch game. I mean, 
machine department. But most versatile of all is the Eye of Agamotto. With this amulet, strength can perceive any truth, absorb massive amounts of energy, enhance the psychic powers, and fire a light that can weaken and obliterate magical entities. If you haven't noticed, Dr. Strange is super powerful. With all this magical mumbo jumbo, he's taking on some of the biggest threats in the universe. Superhuman durability, 
Lastly, he received the Amulet of Anubis, a talisman which increases fatalities, counters opposing magic, and can launch an intense beam of magical firepower. It also houses its own pocket dimension, where the souls of past Dr. Fates reside. Oh yeah, lots of people have worn that shiny helmet, and not all of them were doctors. Even Kent's wife, Inza, got in on the magic action. But Kent is, like, the main one, so we're sticking with him. As Dr. Fate, Kent became the immortal champion of the supernatural lords of order. Smallville, Smallville. the vile lords of chaos. They did a great job with Smallville with Dr. Fate. That's hot. Just a thought, perfect for putting chaos gods in their place. Fate can use telekinesis, cast illusions, direct force fields, hypnotize foes, read minds, teleport fast distances, create an astral projection of himself, travel through time and dimensions, and even manipulate matter at a molecular level. Let's face it, Wiz, he's so powerful he can basically do whatever the hell he wants. Like that time he did a Freaky Friday body swap with Blue Beetle like it was nothing. He can even conjure up Superman's Kryptonian powers for himself. That's right. This guy can just decide to be Superman for a day. With his mighty magic, Fate has turned buildings into dust, thrown a planet into a sun, and physically held back the destruction wow. of the universe. The helmet! Wow. Just the helmet! Once flew through space so fast, it reached the velocity of God, and then bounced off the edge of the universe! What the hell does that even mean? Fate has regenerated his body from a single thought, withstood hits from the likes of Superman and Ultraman, and somehow survived in a dimension of reality where literally nothing exists. Who the hell is writing this crap? Also, when DC <laughs> decided to reboot their entire comic line, Fate was one of the only characters to survive the crisis that literally collapsed the multiverse. But he does have one big weakness. The helmet is Nabu, and Nabu is the source of Fate's powers. So if you remove the helmet, he loses his magic. For the most part, Kent does possess some magical ability of his own, like telekinesis and super strength, but he's not even remotely close to the potential of Dr. Fate. And even further from the true fate, when the souls of a man, a woman, and a god come together, in this case Kent, Inza, and Nabu, they create Dr. Fate's ultimate state of being, an entity with enough power to rip the universe apart wow. and effortlessly overpower other lords of order and chaos. Sadly, like all menage a trois scenarios, keeping this going for too long could destroy all three of them, so fate doesn't go final form unless he absolutely has to. Still, the people of the cosmos can sleep easy knowing fate is on their side. Your fate is utterly winding. Who are you? Let me show you my friend. That is really awesome. Alright, the events are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I'll teach you how to be a wizard in the kitchen. Why do they show that? I would have skipped this little commercial. <laughs> oh boy. Dude, when a combatant's on set, they always say that it's got ready for, for battle. But, we had to show some uh, little advertisement of food. How long would it take? And right now you're probably shouting at your screen. Where do I sign up? So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle mm. to get your first three meals free. Okay. But right now, it's time for a damn battle! Here we go. Oh. 
They just put the footage of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game and that happened. Bravo. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> They're the Star Wars? Yeah, the other guys. Wow. Oh, that's wow. Oh! Helmet off. So the god is just a man in disguise. Let's see how you fare with that. <laughs> Shut up! Austria, you're gonna bring this back to the server! Damn. You heard once told me that Helmet's wasn't making like a man. Oh boy. You have to put a symbol of male and female? Astro form. Going inside the mind and soul, I'm guessing. I don't really suppose. Where am I? Strange didn't have it all. Basically, anything strange could do, fate could do too. 
but even more. Remember how Strange cast the spell which moved him six quadrillion times the speed of light? Yep. Now remember how Fate's helmet flew from Earth to the edge of the universe and back? It took about one year to make this trip. Given the estimated scope of the observable and unknown universe, a trip of this magnitude would require the helm to fly nearly 28 decillion times the speed of light. That's over four quintillion times faster than Strange. Look at it this way. Strange was a man borrowing the powers of a god, while Fate's a god borrowing a man. Plus, that power boost with aims of soul from the amulet put Fate on a level above the gods in his universe. Something Strange can't really do himself. Both Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate possess incomprehensibly impressive magic, but Fate held more experience, greater physical abilities, and a wider range of talents. Which left Steven stuck with a strange twist of fate. The winner is Dr. Fate. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want exclusive commentary on this episode, click that button. That is why I'm so interesting, Dr. Fate. He's very, very, very intrigued. See you next time. He has great powers. Lived about 10 billion years. Oh! That one's coming? We have Mrs. Jen. I'm up for that. I'm gonna ch check that out too. Can't wait for it. I'll be notified if I see it. But yeah, uh, that's what. <sighs> this Doctor Favorite is it, it, very, it really intrigues me because you know he's like the master of, of of magic and he's he's like a god. You know, it's like he's ten billion years of what he is. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. I'm sorry, Dr. Strange, but Dr. Fate, wow. Wow. I can't, I mean, like, damn. Man, if he, if Dr. Strange would have won, I would have been like, yeah. But I don't have the Aya Agamotto with me. Possibly I'll add up to my thumbnail. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for me. Uh, if you like my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to comment below. Uh, tell me what you thought of Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate, Marvel versus DC. I think uh, I think the results are accurate. That's what I think. I think the results are okay because you know he, Doctor Fate, could be much stronger than Doctor Strange, but. That's just me saying. I mean, if, you, if you're, if that's my opinion. If your opinion thinks this Doctor Strange would have won, I understand. But still, for me, not bad, Doctor Fate. Not bad. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember watching Smallville. Uh, the way they did with Doctor Fate was incredible. I mean, I like it, even though it was a teen, uh, teen TV show with. You know, like a younger version of Clark and Superman, but still, I watched the whole entire uh, season and it was great. It was not that bad. It, it was great moments, uh, sadness, and uh, the journey through uh, what he'll become as Superman, Clark, of course. But in the one of the episodes that I saw is the, the, the Justice Society of America is where when they show Doctor Doctor Fate for the first time. Wow, I mean the, the the suit looks great. I mean, yeah, it was unbelievable. But yeah. Anyways, Doctor Fate won. Doctor Strange lost. So yeah, that's a good result. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. This is Superhuman Reactor saying I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget, give me some future and I'll react.